Ladies and gentlemen in attendance and MMA fans joining us around the world live from Phoenix, Arizona, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, standing at 5 feet 11 inches, he weighed in at the limit of 205 pounds. Specializing in the Russian combat discipline of Sambo, his record stands at 14 wins, 5 losses, with 1 win coming by way of knockout and 8 by submission. Joining us from Karachev, Russia, please welcome the challenger, Mikhail Zaya. His opponent across the ring, the defending champion, fighting out of the red corner, standing at six feet three inches. He weighed in at 204 pounds. Trained in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai. His record stands at eight wins, five losses, one no contest, with one win coming by way of knockout and seven by submission. Fighting out of Las Vegas by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Please welcome the defending M1 Global Light Heavyweight Champion. Introducing Vinny Magalhães. And the referee in charge now to give instructions, Al Gaini. You ready? You ready? Let's fight! The main event underway for the M1 Challenge Light Heavyweight Championship and a quick start as the champion Magalesh and Zayats quickly come in and uh, Magalesh listening to his corner immediately going for the head kick. Had that kick not gone so high, it would have landed. Hand was down. Left body kick executed by the champion. Strong stance, strong stance by both guys. Magalash with the red tape, the challenger Zayats with the blue. Lateral movement from Zayats, nice. Close striking there, uppercut. Magalash using his height and reach advantage, looking for the tie plum. Zayats able to escape. Showed a lot of power there by grabbing the head and pulling Zayats in like that. Been working with Mark Beecher and Ron Frazier at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas. Native of Brazil. And again, one of the more decorated submission fighters in mixed martial arts. But again, it's mixed martial arts for a reason. So he has been working on his stand-up. And we can see the improvement already now from, you know, even a stint back on season eight of the Ultimate Fighter. And as you mentioned, Pat, if you are wanting to continue to grow as a fighter, you have to work on all facets of the game. Absolutely. Wow. Quick hook by Zayats there on the entrance by Magalash. And now Zayats has Magalash along the ropes. <laughs> Minute and a half goes oh, the opening round. Another sliding wow. knee from Magalash. Continuing to drive those knees into the midsection of the challenger. He's not digging that at all. Those are powerful knees, man. Said, heck with it, I'm already going down. Sure. Let's, let's roll and try and catch him with something. That's good uh, wrist control from the bottom. Now looking to control the posture of Zayats. Zayats not capitalizing on the posture yet due to that hand control by the champion. Zayats being smart, man. He understands. He needs posture. Got to get himself back up here. He's in trouble. Quickly get out of there. there. there go. Michael was Michael S. Zayats saying, okay, I want none of this. I'm back on my feet. You can join me. Yeah, you can only stick your hand in a bear trap so many times before you don't get it back. Midway through the opening round. Zayat's looking to gauge the distance, wants to come in close there. Blocked nicely by the tight guard of Magalesh as Zayat's wanted to land the right. That was a vicious leg kick, almost uh, sending Magalesh to the uh, canvas there. Nice kick to the lead leg. Yeah, that was a brutal kick. Very, very fast, good power. <laughs> Hurt his elbow, locked his elbow out. Two minutes remaining in the opening round. 
Zayats moving side to side, trying to find the angle, trying to find the opening. Again, Magalesh with a four inch height advantage, five inch reach advantage, now swimming back in. And rushing Zayats to the corner, has him on the ropes, looking for the body lock. As the over under clinch, oh, nice escape by Zayats. And they uh, clashed heads when, uh, when Magalesh made that rush in. Zayat's trying to land the right hand on the exit. Now it's Magalesh dropping levels, looking for the double leg takedown. Well defended thus far by Zayat's. Although his arm is on the rope there, and he's holding on. Well, I mean, uh, I don't think he's holding on. He's making use of the equipment, though. All right, lawyer. <laughs> don't grab the rope anymore. Let's go. He was leaning on it like a coffee table. Less than a minute remaining now in the opening five minutes of this light heavyweight championship bout. Buglesh eyeing Zayats, moving to his right now. Zayats was grilling at him. Superman punch by Zayats. 30 seconds now remaining in the first frame. Another vicious leg kick by Zayats, the challenger. Trying to cut down the champion. He's deliberately kicking the low, and then, you know, the fibula bone, which is a small bone in your lower leg. If you get that kick correctly, it'll snap it. We saw Mirko a spinning back fist blocked by. No, 10 seconds, and that whistle is confusing a few of the fighters here tonight. And that's the bell to end uh, an interesting opening round. Uh, how did you score the fight, Pat? How did you score it so far? We didn't get to it there on last championship bout. Uh, you know what? Very close. I might lean towards Zion's a little bit there, though, bud. Listen, man. Constantly, constantly move, tag him every time you're moving, but constantly move, don't get involved in wrestling. And kick, continue to kick, it works, everything is good, very good, lower kick, it works for you. You already just put combinations together, head, leg, and just be very careful when you're doing this. When he steps in, just kick. So you are going with uh, Zayats by a sliver in that opening round as well. Yeah, yeah, I think he landed more effective stuff, did a little bit more damage. Bell in round two. Magalash of the black truck, Zayats in the brown. Magalash needs to put a little, more, a little bit more movement into his striking. He's, he wobbled there. Uh, Magalesh got wobbled by that punch. I don't know if he was off balance or got rocked. Yeah, Zayat's doing a good job of darting in and out, landing the strike, and immediately getting out. There's winding up now. Little gamesmanship from the challenger. Oh, beautiful long leg kick that took out the foundation of Magalesh, who immediately pops up. But those leg kicks are taking their toll on the lead leg of the champion. Magalesh has got to throw punches and set up his takedowns if he wants to finish this on the ground. Overhead right by the challenger who seems to be getting more confidence as the fight progresses. Sticks the straight left into the midsection of the champion. Good lateral movement by the challenger. Bouncing nice. high punch kick combination to the outside of the lead leg and Zayas beginning to find it, catches the kick, throws Magalash to the canvas and again very smart and not getting into the danger zone of the Abu Dhabi champion. Yeah, I'd uh, go ahead and back up if I were him. Maybe kill him a little bit of the clock, but uh, I'm thinking I'm backing up. Good stop from there, nice. Looking to break some of those bones in the uh, foot. There's a kick to the... Quadriceps region, Zayats making the most of this situation. Wow, 
kick in the hand. Look at that. He's kicking to get into the hand. Smart fighting, though, man. The referee steps in, will allow Magalhaes to get back up to his feet, where he has not fared very well against the challenger thus far here in round two. Magalhaes has got to be having a sense of urgency now a little bit. Okay. He's having some problems. He's hurt. Inside leg kick. And Zayat's not just single shooting with the strikes, mixing it up, both kicks and punches. This kid's crisp, and he's got power in both legs and both arms. And he's finding the range. He may have the shorter reach, but he's making every strike count in this round. Trying to confuse the champion now, constantly moving his hands. And there again, chopping away the kick. Magalash shoots in, it's stopped by the challenger. Magalash now looking for the body lock, looking for the takedown, gets it right in the mouth. Well done. I think Magalash is angry at this point. And nicely escaped here wow, wow, wow. by the challenger. Beautiful sweep. Magalash taking that key lock and looking for it. Nice scramble that ends with the challenger in top position. Wrist control by the champion on the bottom. Wants to bring the head in close. Wants to move the guard up. Yeah, wants to walk the legs up. You cannot let a guy control your wrists. In the guard from top or bottom. Beautiful sweep. That's what Magalhaes is known for. And a wow. beautiful escape on the back door by the challenger. Great action here in round two. These guys, these guys are quality. A minute, 20 seconds remaining in the second stanza. The champion, Vinny Magalesh, the challenger, Mikhail Zayats. Up for grabs is the M1 Challenge Light Heavyweight Belt. Magalesh has got a football He's not checking out those up. kicks. Right now, he's... A stationary target. You don't want to do that against a guy that hits. And well timed by Zayats moving in underneath the right hand and rubber guard there by the champion. But uh, Zayats saying, uh uh, backs up immediately. 45 seconds remaining in the round. And the referee again will step in and get the champion back to his feet. the challenger switching it up. Oh, I see a spinning technique coming. Nice body shot going upstairs. Zion's lighting up the champion with the strikes. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Ten seconds. Wow. And what a round it was for the challenger. I tell you what, if I'm in this fight, I know what the whistle blows by. Who is going to put his hands down? I'm getting on with it. Who do you have about winning the fight through two rounds, or how do you score it? I got it. Zion's, man. Zion's. I know a couple of those things you need to do. Zion looking good in this round. Here it is early in. Inside low kick, dropping Magalesh down to his hands and knees. Unique, unique stuff, looking for the foot stops, trying to bust bones and injure the uh, injure the feet. Smart. Here's Vinny, horsing it. He's got the over-under. Stepping, blocking the leg, getting the takedown, and jumping right to mount. That's a jujitsu black belt. Here it is again, got the over-under. Blocking him up. You can see him looking for it right away. Wants to be in that dominant Horse mount up. position and look for the finish. Back in the corners. Round three coming your way in this M1 Challenge Light Heavyweight title. Fight, bell, and the action resumes. Science bouncing up and down on the balls of his feet. Magalhaes coming in, looking for the takedown. It's stuffed, and the table's momentarily turned by the smaller challenger. He's not getting clean entrances into his takedowns because he's not setting up the takedowns. Nice job spinning out of there by Zayat, throwing a couple punches to make sure he doesn't get uh, tangled up again. Another inside leg kick as Magalhaes 
Magalesh was throwing the strike upstairs. There's a jab. Magalesh now looking to utilize that jab, use that reach advantage. That's the thing, you can get lulled into, uh, you know, when you're looking for takedowns from a guy so much, and all of a sudden they start punching. It's like, hey, wait a minute. He was shooting on me for the whole fight. Another low wow. There's a right hand kick that stops the challenger. Magalash going in for the finish. The referee steps in, and Mamma Mia, Vinny Magalash defends the title in scintillating fashion. You talk about the kick. He took a pitch out of the challenger's playbook. Unsuccessful on his takedowns. Zayats at that moment was getting confused. Like, is he going to shoot? When's he going to shoot? Nice job, though, by Magalash. Throwing the right hand and then the right leg right behind it. Fundamentally, you don't see that a lot. But Magalash did a good job. And I think what he did was pull the hand down at the same time. The left hand of Zayats while he threw the kick over the top. It's a, it's a nice little trick that some guys... Unpredictable guys world know. of mixed martial arts. Anything can happen at any time. And Vinny Magalesh with the right head kick follows it up and records the TKO victory to retain the M1 Challenge light heavyweight title. Let's go, you got it, dude. I'm telling you. Magalesh, here he is. Throws that right hand past and then the head kick. Really slick little head kick and then follows up. Knows he's got Zayats done. Just got to put a little more beat on him for the referee to step in. Those are the ones that uh, hurt you, the ones you don't see coming. Perfect Muay Thai kick. You want your kick to hit a guy right in the neck, back of the head, behind the ear. Beautiful Muay Thai kick. You are done. That's like a baseball bat smacking you when you don't see it coming. Not fun experience at all. Last time looking at this finish, watch the jab. Right hand goes past. Boom, follows behind it. Beautiful. He realizes he's got him hurt, lands a punch right away. Good killer instinct by Magalash, man. Beautiful comeback. Great way to keep your title. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 13 seconds of round number 3. Robert Free of Charge stops the contest due to strikes. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still the M1 Global Light Heavyweight Champion, Vinny Magalhães. Vinny Magalesh, congratulations. That's how you close the show in style. Uh, talk about the way you finished the fight because we heard at the broadcast table immediately when the fight started, your corner man saying, look for that head kick. It took a while, but you found it. You know, that's a move that you train all the time, but you know, I never like, have like much of confidence to try, to try, but I knew I was losing like two rounds, so I had to try, you know? And it worked out well. Like, it wasn't clear like in the head, but, you know, it was good. It was in the neck, so. Why do you think you were losing those two rounds? Because he seemed to be able to find a home for his low leg kicks attacking your lead leg. Uh, what, what did you do to adjust in between the, the, the last round? You know, I, I can't really remember what round it was, if it was first or second, but he threw, like, a couple punch that rocked me a little bit. So I was trying to pace myself. I, I, I looked at him, like, I so said he was, like, a little more tired than I was. So I knew, like, that if, if it went, like, a little bit longer, I would have the advantage, like, cardio-wise, so. All right, let's take a look at the finish of the fight because it was spectacular here, Vinny. This is how you retain the title. Talk us through it. It was like soccer, man. You know, I'm from Brazil, so I'm pretty good at like a soccer kick. So even, unfortunately, it was not like a pride style, but it was a good soccer kick. I wish I could have kicked him like first, like in the first round, you know, because he talks a lot, so it was good. Well, by the way, I think congratulations also in order on your impressive win at the Abu Dhabi Submission Tournament where you defeated none other than Fabrizio Verdum. Uh, uh, it's been a pretty good year for you. Yeah, not bad. You know, I got like four wins in MMA. I won Abu Dhabi, so, you know, I have no reason to be complaining about anything. So, so what's next for you? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I want to fight again, you know. Like, I was supposed to fight next month, but I don't know if it's going to happen. So I just want to fight, like, you know, increase my record, like, make my numbers better. So. Let's see what happens. All right, Phoenix, Arizona, let's hear it one more time for the M1 Challenge light heavyweight champion, Vinny Pizau Magalesh.
Danny Magalesh recording just his second 